Have you wondered, what am I going to do with all my stuff when I move? Well, stick around and I will give you a few tips on how to do it with ease. Hi, I'm Charlotte from the Volts team. Welcome to my channel. And if this is your first time here, I'm a realtor specializing in probate and trusts, covering the Inland Empire and the high desert. And every week I post tips, insights, and updates to help you gain clarity. So be sure to subscribe and click that bell below so that you're notified each week of the latest additions to the channel. Now, before we get started, I want you to know that this is the fourth video in the Moving Mindset series. And I'll leave the links to the three videos previously done in the description box below. So let's get started today. We're talking about what do I do with all my stuff? One of the best gifts you can give yourself is voluntary simplicity. Facing the task of clearing out a house full of possessions is daunting. You're not alone. We all have clutter. Did you know that we only use 20% of what we own? Clutter robs you of time and you never get that back. You will have more joy when you have more time, more money, and more freedom. Decluttering is a process as well as a mindset. So first start in the present. You can't start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. Simultaneously, as you practice using that declutter muscle, you'll experience increases in dopamine, that feel-good chemical in your brain. So expect wide swings of emotions, but stick with it. Second, declutter slowly and consistently. Schedule regular times to declutter. The basic plan is set up five bins and label them garbage, recycling, donation, sell, or give, keep, and decide later. Determine the area to begin. Maybe a drawer, a closet, a cabinet, and ruthlessly sort through one area. Make decisions quickly without laboring over the items and acknowledge your accomplishments. Move on to another area. Now, before I share the third and final step today, let me remind you to ring that bell below to be notified of the next video in the series where I will talk about how long will this take with the moving mindset. Also, comment below if you're looking for help in your decluttering process. Now, the third and final step today is to ask yourself these questions. Do I love it? Do I absolutely need this? And does this have a designated place in my home? Try to stick to only handling it once Lugging that stuff to your future home is not necessary, and in most cases, it's not even possible. Don't leave your heirs with a horrendous mess to clean. That is not how you want to be remembered. Now, Henry David Thoreau so aptly put it when he said, simplify your life. Don't burden yourself with possessions. Keep your needs and your wants simple and enjoy what you have. Don't destroy your peace of mind by looking back, worrying about the past, live in the present, simplify. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video in the series.